Hello everyone, this is Lame and Config from Green Slime Games, and I've been drawing some asteroids. Um, I wanted to get some asteroids into Space or Minor, but as you can see, I can't draw. So I found quite a nifty way of creating some quite simple but quite effective little asteroids. First thing I'm going to do, loading up GIMP here, um, set this to 256 by 256. So the first thing I'm going to do to make the asteroid is just create the texture. So this is this is nice and simple to do. You just want to render clouds, solid noise. Um, bump up the detail. Increase there, so it's nice around of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to emboss this. Zoom. Zoom. And there you go. There, that's a nice rock texture in a couple of seconds. So if we just save this as asteroid texture. Dot. Hmm. Save. Zoom. Right, so that's that's that bit done. Now if I load up Blender, first thing to do is to delete this uh, standard cube. Zoom. Then you're going to want to add an icosphere, subdivisions to radius one. Zoom. There we go. A quite ugly looking sphere. So if we change to edit mode, um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to select some of these points on it and just drag them about. Just drag, drag. And you'll see the reason for this a bit more. But the idea is just to, to deform the sphere a bit. Nothing too extreme, but just try and make it look less spherical in nature. Um, don't forget to do it from all different angles. So there we go, that's looking much less spherical in nature. So I've just done this pretty pretty randomly. Um, right, so now I've done that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to distort the entire sphere as a whole. So I go back to object mode, select scale manipulator. I'm just going to pull it out a bit, yank it in a bit. And there we go. Oh, 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 didn't want to do that. And there we go. So yeah, we've got something which looks quite distorted. Now I've gone back to edit mode. I'm pressing A to select all of the vertices and then I'm going to press W to get the specials menu and I'm going to select subdivide multifractal number of cuts to random faces I've just increased this to 15 um, well worth playing around with these and there we go instantly looking much more like an asteroid um, nice and rough, it's a bit too long, so I'll probably just squish it down a bit more. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to repeat that process again. Zoom. So well, you've got about 3,000 vertices in there, so I mean, it's quite quite high poly, but it's just just to show you how to do it. Um, right, the next step is to add the UV map on, which is nice and simple. I'm just going to split this area here, change that to UV, then I'm going to press U for the unwrap and I'm going to do a project, project from view bounds and what this does is that this creates the map based on where your camera is looking and also fills the UV map up completely. So if we do that, you can see you've got the, the entire asteroid in there now. So, I'm just going to load my UV map that I just created. Zoom. Asteroid texture. 
over the image. So there we go. So if I just deselect all the vertices and just go to object mode and change this to textured, it doesn't look good, but now as you tilt it around, you, you kind of get the idea. The texture, if you don't make it as complicated, um, as, as dark as that, it looks pretty pretty cool. I just put this together quickly, and what, what I'll do if I just render this, yeah, change the text face. Uh, let's just render this. Zoom. There you go. You got an asteroid. It's simple, um, and it does the job. And I just thought I'd share you share with you how to do that.